Welcome to another Tea and Talk, and it's me and me, me and you, yeah, and ba ba ba. Oh no, that's very inappropriate. What? What? Ooh. Ooh. Viking. Viking power. Ugh. Right. Mm. What are we going to talk about today? What drinks? Drink. Previous film that's not long been released. That's it. Forest of Ash. Possible mm, drop-ins from new material stuff. Yes, we can talk about some new material and stuff. New character. New character, new material, new interesting bits, and some following stuff that's coming up. And the fact that we went to the... Broadside, I think it was Broadside War Games at Midway. That's right. And the sun's in my eyes, but we don't mind because we're professionals here. You can lean a little bit. Yeah, I don't mind, isn't it? Uh, no. Yeah. Lean the other way. No. <laughs> no. No. Right, it's fine. Don't worry. We're good to go. Right, so what drink should we try first? No, save the prime till last. Save the prime till last. This one? Go on then. We're going to try Vimto Energy. Natural caffeine with real fruit juice. Yum, okay. yum, yum. From pound, pound, from pound shop. From pound shop. From pound shop. Excellent. Right, yeah, so Forest of Ash was recently released. Um, myself and Viking uh, filmed quite a lot of that. That do, because you know... No, because you know what I'm like. I literally don't like most energy drinks. And yet you go and film one up. I know it's Vimto, but... Vimto! Yeah, so tell everyone about Forest of Ash. While well, we're having a little sip. Your new little project was something new that you haven't done before, which was a sort of a more serious horror. That's it, a more serious horror, quite spooky in some ways. It smells like Vimto. I managed to get the tone quite right, I think. Uh, one of my first ever really spooky ones, I was quite happy with how that went. Mm -hmm. um, literally, started out the bulk of it was filmed. I got bored one evening, I went, I'm gonna go and film. And then I filmed about 10 minutes worth of footage, maybe 11 minutes of footage. Mm. And then you helped me with some really cool ideas, like the hand grab scene. Yeah. And you helped me film. You had some extras, the bit where you found, like, there's a camp. When it's the got camp, like, a little that's right. Like, home, like, my spooky looking. That's right, thing. yes. And we did that bit. And, of course, it was your idea to put some other bits in. Wasn't it? We put some bits with Baja Junior in. Yeah. Nick did a cameo ready for it, which was great. And we're sort of gonna make sure that all connects up to the Badger verse. The Badger verse. The I Badger verse. That. that was mine. Yes. <laughs> the Badger cinematic that. universe. That the was Badger verse. Mmm. Nice. It is quite nice, isn't That's it? Quite, quite nice refreshing. One. It tastes yes. like Vinto. It didn't taste like. Oh, was that really horrible? Was it tea? Mm. What, I can't remember what was that. No. It was it was the American one that we tried. And mm. it tasted like fizzy paracetamol. Yeah. Oh, I'd love a good seltzer. No. Yes, it's delicious. I like a seltzer. I don't like soda water, but that was vile. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. Well worth the pound. Mm. Thank you. Well worth the pound. Mm. So what do you think? Looking back at Forest of Ash, mm -hmm. what do you think I'm going to would be a good way to change it to level up next time. Oh, a little bit of special effects. A little bit a little more bit special, special effects. effects. Camera trickery. Yes, okay. And then it's it. And of course, suggestions from you guys would be great too. Mm -hmm. uh, big thank you for your help with the Foley as well. That was great. Uh, snapping tweaks. Lots of snapping, <laughs> snapping tweaks. Tweak. Lots of sort of bits going on in the background that I added in afterwards. Mm -hmm. A bit more vocalising. Um, obviously, I put a lot of like words in, slowed them down, changed it. Yeah. Added more of the music from the doll. That was cool as well. Mm -hmm. So it did work. Thank you for all your help. So what do you think out of 10 for Vimto Energy? Probably an 8. A good solid. Yeah, it tastes like Vimto, doesn't it? Whereas like Iron Brew Energy... 
Like, it doesn't really taste like iron brew anymore. I don't know, I haven't tried it. It's all right, we'll try it one time. Mm. But this actually still tastes like Vimto. It does taste like yes. fizzy Vimto. Fizzy Vimto, and that's great, yeah. not fizzy cold store. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, it tastes like fizzy Vimto, and it is nice, and it's quite refreshing, quite palatable. I would give it a good solid eight and a half out of ten. It's one of my new favourite energy drinks, I think. Quite pleasant to drink. Not too in your face. Yes. So that's quite nice. Mm. What's that one? This one is Frugo! That, I think, was... I think it was actually in the pound shop, but it wasn't a pound. I think it was like 69 Oh, uh, yeah. Frugo Energy. Hashtag Frugo. Or it was in Home Bargains. Zero sugar added watermelon and strawberry energy drink. Oh, we've got a contender, because I think the prime is watermelon. Oh, that's going to be interesting. So, mm -hmm. let's have a listen. Right, everyone, it depends on what this is like. depends on the initial sound. So, let's have a listen. Does it sound very fizzy? No, but that was a good opening. Was that was a good opening. opening, yes. But it didn't sound very fizzy. That's it. And that's a callback to uh, something called X to an X. Oh, I can smell that. So, if you're watching, thank you. You always used to do this on the thing. Yes, indeed. Right, here we go. You're not doing the makeup thing where you like to put your hand behind it. No, right, let's have a look. Okay, pinkish. Pinkish. Oh, yeah. have a sniff. I can smell it. I can smell it. Can smell it. I can smell it. Can smell it, okay. Oh, go on, have a little bit more. Oh, live dangerously. Live dangerously. So, yes. So, what else are we going to talk about? Slightly. The Broadside. Oh, well, broadside. Broadside, broadside, yes. In. That was that was at June and weekend. Was about two weekends ago. Yes. And it was this like geeky extravaganza. I've never seen so many tabletop games set up in my life in one place. That's right. And there was a weird sporting event going on there. Oh yeah, that, as well. that was like you know like a county. Like, it's mainly got like, track like running and things. Mm. So they have like an ice cream van and like a burger wagon and things. Yeah. I took bad to junior off. That's <laughs> it. An ice cream. You got very bored very quickly. Very quickly. But we had a lot of fun. It was nice to look around. I picked him up some Yu Gi Oh cards, which he really loved. Um, we had a nice chat with a lot of different people, got to know a lot of different yeah. people. It was very interesting as a new hobby to try and sort of look into and talk to people that are into that. You know, I found people very open to chatting and, and sort of engaging. I and did it was get really a bit excited, didn't I? And I did a squeak and made a beeline for a store that had the Skyrim tabletop board game. That's it, yeah. If you know anywhere where you can get the Skyrim tabletop board game cheaper than a hundred odd pounds. £20, pound, but it did come with all the little figures. Mm. So it did come with a lot. And then there was a store couple away that was selling one of the other games, the Skyrim Hawk games. Um, That's it. They were all like tabletop. They weren't like Skyrim Monopoly or anything. No. And there was a Dad's Army game I was considering picking up. There was a couple of other bits as well. Yeah, but there was someone was selling like mm. those figure kits. And they were like little wooden figures. And they had like the aliens um, power, yes. power logo. Oh, so, yes. And you made it yourself and you could paint it yourself. Mm, you could, mm. you quite cool it wasn't like a mold of plastic it was they made it with wood and it was really wow. cool so that sounds interesting so there's a lot of artistic people there mm -hmm. very interesting and everyone a lot of kickstarters kickstarters well. there was that weird mushroom uh that was quite one wasn't there that was quite and that was very psychedelic it was very psychedelic. Purple and like glitter. Yeah, so. lots of purple, lots of weird greens and glitter. It was really cool seeing like they were obviously they were groups tabletops. Mm. They weren't like an individuals a lot of those. No. And some of those. Then the whole Battle of Middle Earth going on at the time. They did, room. yes, and they had World War Two going on as well. Yeah, and yeah. along with I think I think they did the um the three hundred as well. Oh, did they? Yeah, that wow. was that was kind of in the middle. You did a bit of cosplay. I did do a bit of cosplay as like cosplay. a Warhammer character, didn't I? One yep. of the knights or whatever. Yeah, that was yeah, fun. Yeah, that was quite cool. When mm. my Magic Junior had to go as well. You That's it. Yeah, good. we got him in that. Good. That was really fun. Um, so a bit of cosplay happening there. That was hilarious. And uh, yeah, so overall, apart from the over expensive ice cream, 
It was really I nice. I think that's just the way it's going now. You can no longer get a 99. For 99 pence. 99 pence. You like can get £3. a 99 50. and it was £2 and it didn't come with a flake. Oh, heinous. Heinous, heinous, I tell you. Even my local ones got quite expensive, although it is still quite good. And mm. Nothing beats. That's it. You know, soft serve, you know, Mr. Whippy, the ice cream. That's it, Mr. Whippy from the ice cream van, you cannot beat it. Have you, oh, have you had one from Devon? No, drink some of from Eleven, Eleven though. God. No! You just did it. What? You just did it, you just went there. I just went there. Oh, you got me with that as well. Well, well thank straight you. Straight into it. Mm-hmm. I you would have thought I'd have learnt by now. No, I, I like Devon ice cream, it's nice. No, but it's Devon, Mr Whippy. No, I don't know I've had Devon this sort of thing. cones, they're cheapy cones, taste like cornflakes. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Ah. Technical. Technical issues. Yeah. Technical issues. Technical issues. Right, we're back. Right. Ah! And the sun's got you. The sun's got the sun's me. Got but it's all good. But yeah, no, I want to know, where is the cheapest, nicest ice cream parlour or ice cream van you know about? Because that is impossible now. And we're not talking creams or Caspers. No. We're not talking chain stores where you go in and it'll cost you a tenner. No. For a pancake. Mm-hmm. Talking like a proper ice cream place. Yeah. Or yes. one that does like something really unique. We have, there is one where I'm from, and in the winter, they come round still, and you think you are an absolute lunatic. Mm -hmm. They do hot dogs. Nice. <laughs> it comes out, does it? still got the ice cream, doesn't have to miss a whippy going, but no. it does hot dogs. Hot dogs, hot dogs, cigarettes, you can buy a little <laughs> no, I don't flask of rum. Arse don't do that. No, mm. no. Am I thinking about the 1920s? Possibly, yes. No, no. <laughs> no. No. Are we going to the Prime? Oh, the Prime. Are mm, the Prime? Mm, prime. That was in Sainsbury's, two pounds. So yes. The most expensive one. Yeah. They had loads yesterday when I saw them. They had loads. Yeah. Prime. Is that, prime. Is that watermelon and strawberry, that one? That is watermelon and strawberry energy drink. So we've got a bit of a comparison. Contenders Ray! Gladiators! I'll do the three, two, one! Frugo versus Prime! Now let's have a little listen to the hiss. Yeah, after you just smashed it up. Yeah. Ooh, delicious. Oh! oh you Power got, up! You got splashed. Oh no! Oh, we're not pink. We're not pink. Is this good or bad? I'm not sure. Oh, it's kind of cloudy clear. Cloudy clear. Right, here we go. Cloudy clear. I can't smell that one like the other one. No. Is that good or bad? I'm not it sure. is cloudy. It's Ooh, like... but you can sniff and whiffer it. Yeah, but it's not as strong as it is. No. Ooh. That's... Very, very, very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. The other very one sweet. was, got, we didn't do it out of ten on the other one, by the way. Um, seven and a half. Yeah, I'll go seven and a half. This one. Probably seven. Seven. It's not unpleasant. It's not unpleasant. But. I think I'd rather pay the 69p for the Frugo one. Frugo wins off of Prime? Prime's just all about name, isn't it? It's it all is. about name and then creating that panic and everyone wants to go and get it. And mm, kids mm. are going, oh, we want Prime. Parents are paying like 20 quid plus. For 20 a quid plus for a one energy drink or a bottle, yeah. But it's nice and nice to see that the guys that make Prime, that they come up with it, are flooding the market. On right. the supermarkets, so that little shops can't do that. No, that's it. You know, I'm looking forward to the price being regulated because yeah. I do like Prime, but I'm not going to pay a ten pound for one bottle. Lots you know. of people profiteer off of it. That's it. You know, it is definitely about scalpers and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, what would you say to this one? 
Well, I go seven and a half and give the other one eight because they're all quite yeah. good. And I gave that 8.5 as well, did I you not? You gave it 7.5. 7.5. Five. Five. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I would give this seven then. Because the other one, Frugo, actually tastes like watermelon. You get that slightly more crisper taste. It's, it's more, more interesting. Like strawberry. Yeah, the, the strawberry... They are like, if you like strawberry more, then have the prime. If you like watermelon more, then have the Frugo. That's it, yeah. And if you like the Vimto, <laughs> Vimto one. Have the Vimto one. Yeah, but with the Frugo, I'd definitely say that the smell was really there as well, wasn't it? Like, you could tell it was watermelon. This is literally just like, have a strawberry drink. Mm -hmm. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But if you want watermelon, like you were saying, this one wins. Definitely. Mmm. Yes. Right. So, don't forget to tell us in the comments what you would like to see in the new films. Any suggestions for things that we could level up in the films. That would be great. And check out Forest of Ash. Check out Forest of Ash. Yeah. Begetta Mania. <laughs> uh, you know, Bellamoron. I love that. Multiverse of Madness, and lots of other different ones that we've uh, lost in the woods as well. And if you haven't followed myself, Viking, or of course Mr. Nick Field on social media, on TikTok and on business, and please crack, do. Crack and media as well. Crack and media as Done well. some of the tea and talks filming and mm -hmm. helps with a bit of research. That's it. Crack and media, please do follow them because they're fantastic. And we will be doing some collaborations with Kraken Media very soon as well. Mm. Mm. So that's something to look forward to. And lots of projects in the pipeline. Today we have finished off three films and lots of different things coming up. So that is going to be a bumper time if you're in the mood for the films and lots of comedy sketches. We are going to be putting those out in abundance very soon. <laughs> right. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed today's tea and talk. Look after yourselves. Keep safe, keep well. Much love, everyone. And we'll see you in the next vlog, video, stream, short, or film. Bye. 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 Ciao. Ciao, niggas. <laughs>